So what's up guys? Uh, I created this simple animation right here. Uh, I'm gonna break down the project, show you the light setup, the shader setup, the link file setup, and yeah, just break down the project. So let's jump right into Blender. So this is the file. We're just gonna hop over to the camera. So this is it. You've already seen it rendered out. So this is the animation, pretty simple keyframes, and that's pretty much it. Maybe let's talk about the keyframes first. So this is the object. This is a linked object. I'll show you the uh, link file later maybe in the video but how I made this is basically some master keys so I've got like the positions here with doubled keyframes except here because here it got a little bit too slow on the dope sheet copied and pasted so these are exactly the same keyframes to really flatten out the curve here otherwise I keyframed a little bit into the movement here and a little bit into the movement here and scaled these down so it's a slow movement fast and slow uh, that's pretty much how we created this fast and slow uh, fast and slow that's pretty much it uh, that's how we created the animation the light looks very random and it is very random because this light is pretty much based on the angles of the product so if we open up a second window and a 3d view right here um the main light i'll turn it on maybe i'll turn everything off for now so the main light is just the top light here and yeah it already looks okay but you see here it's pretty dark so if i unhide the lights here's light so i really so if we go to the master keyframe you see the reflection on the badger b of course not the beats by dr dre b um you see this is exactly that light so on this keyframe i positioned the light so also on this one this light is perfectly positioned on the main keyframe. Otherwise, my focus object is this little circle. And as you can see, I also keyframe this. So I'm moving this manually, or not manually, but like manually keyframed on top. It's not tracked to anything uh, because sometimes I think tracking is almost too realistic, uh, unrealistic, and this is more realistic if it's not perfect. And also these few keyframes were quickly keyframed. Okay, so far to that. Then maybe we can look at the materials. Um, as I mentioned, this is a linked object, so we can't look at the materials here. So we're gonna head over to our link file. Here I set up the materials based on a main image right here. And this is a standard leather texture from textures.com. I used a curve, uh, yeah, that's it, uh, to just manipulate the roughness a little bit. Otherwise it's really just black and has noise. Um, the inside has like a fabric and also this has like a fabric texture. I might should click it maybe. Um, it's just a normal map, also textures.com. Here I created a very, very simple black and white texture that I'm using as a mix inside of the base color, just like this um, and zero roughness. Very, very basic. This is all parented to this empty. You see it's very laggy because we've got a lot of modifier action here. Um, and that's why I linked the file so we can smoothly animate this file. Um, what else can I say about this? Mm, not much. That's really the core of it. Um, if you would want to model this, this is the mesh. It's pretty basic. Uh, the only thing that wasn't that basic was this shape because it's just a bit hard shape to do. And also this was based on an SVG. So uh, this part... Um, I had to clean some stuff up, but yeah, pretty, pretty simple all in all and kind of semi beginner friendly. <laughs> so that's it. So if you like this video, this is actually based on my very first course I made. So the course is going to be pretty cheap uh, since my very first one. Still, you're going to be able to learn a lot from modeling to animation to rendering and yeah, just the complete project. Um, so head over to my Gumroad if you're interested. Um, if this breakdown was enough for you, that's also fine. Uh, and yeah, that's it. And see you next week. Bye.